So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what is Vagrant and what are the key concepts related to Vagrant. Now, if you want to provision the VMs, generally what we use is, uh, let's say, a virtual box or you might you be using VMware. Uh, sometimes you may also be using a cloud platform such as OpenStack or AWS as well, right? So what we typically do is go to the virtual box or the VMware or the OpenStack and then start provisioning the VMs by doing all these configurations through the UI mostly, right? And that's how we provision the virtual machines right now. So what Vagrant allows us to do is codify or automate the process of provisioning. So what you typically have to do is uh, bring up the VM, define what is the memory, what is the, how much CPU, uh, you have to define the host name, IP addresses, uh, you know, you have to uh, provide the folders that you want to, um, you know, uh, mount and so on and so forth, right? There are multiple configurations that you want to do when you provision a VM. So instead of going and doing it manually or using a procedural or a documentation approach, we start using Vagrant. And Vagrant actually sits on top of your existing VM software or a cloud provider as well, right? And it talks to these, um, you know, these virtual machine virtualization providers using the APIs that these guys expose. And uh, that's the concept of uh, providers. And that's the concept of providers. So Vagrant uses default provider is VirtualBox, but it can also talk to VMware, or, you know, OpenStack or AWS or other cloud platforms as well. And it allows us to write the specification using code. So one of the key concepts of DevOps is writing infrastructure as a code or writing everything as a code. And it allows us to write that code and feed it here. And the code is written using something called as a Vagrant file. And this is where we define how do you provision the VMs with what configuration, et cetera, et cetera, right? And when it goes and provisions the actual VM, it needs a template. And the template, the concept of template in case of Vagrant is using something called as a box file. So it imports a box and you define which box to use and rest of the configuration here. And that's what Vagrant reads and then, you know, it goes and provisions it. Now the advantage with using this as a code is you can then revit and control it. You can share it with others and you can recreate. This becomes a repeatable process when you want to create a VM. Now the boxes can also be shared. So there is something called as a Vagrant cloud from where you can download the boxes as well as you can share your own boxes so that somebody else can use that. Now that's, those are the core concepts. And apart from that, you can extend Vagrant. If you want to extend Vagrant, you can write some plugins. Some of the cloud providers are operated, you know, or provisioned uh, through the plugins itself. Now, one of the key concept is once you provision those VMs, how do we go about configuring it? There are two options that Vagrant gives us. One is using the providers. And that's where, let's say you want to run a shell script. You may create a provider for that. So the providers can be, you can use a shell script. You can use tools like Ansible or Chef or Puppet. Uh, now, this becomes a framework more or less because then you can have a choice between which provider you want to use, which, uh, uh, you know, the this is actually a provisioner. So which provisioner you want to use after bringing up the VM using a certain provider and the provider can be VirtualBox and so on. The provisioner, you have a choice between that. Uh, you can also deploy the applications. You can stop, you know, push the application code. Um, you can actually use that, uh, do that through the providers, but you also have a way to push the code to you know, uh, to your systems using Vagrant push command. Now, those are the core configurations or the primitives that the Vagrant offers you, uh, mainly the providers, uh, the Vagrant file, that's probably the most important one. That's how we interact with Vagrant here. Uh, the concept of box, which is nothing but a template. And then you have plugins, provisioners, systems, right? And then alternately, you can also use push. Uh, mostly, you would use the provisioners, but you also have an option to do that. And those are the core concepts related to Vagrant.